Oh, good. Just, just get everybody's engines going. We're just going to get everybody's everything sorted. Yeah, I think the water's about done. Let's fill that. We'll do the pigs. Yes, harvest today. But I thought let's quickly get this lot done. I think we need a bit more straw as well. So no trouble doing with just twelve and a half tons. Then <laughs> this gets through some straw. Did I check? I will have checked. What is on sale this morning? I will finish my year. Uh, that looks better this morning, the angle on that. It didn't. Yeah, yesterday the angle look, didn't look good at all. Right, straw. is a monster, a beautiful monster it really is. It is weird, I am right, yesterday when I was on about the steering it is, it's strange. But then it is a beast, so yeah, it, it's allowed to be strange. Let's stick this in and then we'll... Uh... Is there anything with doing things with things like this where you don't get that, the uh, thing you've got to guess? Although I suppose it does say it doesn't not accept it, so. Yeah, I wanted to get cracking straight around. Yeah, definitely definitely another one. In fact, it was really one and a bit, even though there was a bit left as well. Yeah. I want to check actually to see, like we will, but we'll do that on a day where we've not got a massive harvest. For some reason, my computer flicked to Windows. Not that you will have seen that. That's one thing I did sort. So yeah, I always tell the uh, my recording software to centre on actual farm simulator itself, so that if anything ever flicks to the desktop, you don't get a, you don't see that. Thankfully. swapping this over for that very reason that this is a bit of a well you'll see really if the mass is any better I've always always felt this was underpowered when you choose the 240 it just seems to not do much let's drop that let's just swap we shall see if this 220 horsepower is better with the acceleration and everything I know it I mean I know you can't really compare an articulator because in some ways the articulation gives them an ability that no other tractor has got. I do love that about them, but the, yeah, it's more about the power with the HDZ. It's, it'd be nice to compare this with a tractor that's almost, it's, I mean, this is slightly underpowered. So it shouldn't be anywhere near as... Yeah, that's much better. It accelerates and everything. But I suppose it, that's perhaps built more for. Yeah, it, it struggles with this 70 tonner a lot. Yeah, that 
it's just emergency, as I say, to get through the straw. I suppose it is, there's so many animals in here, it what it is one of the largest, in fact, I think this is the largest enclosure in my cow pasture, which is why I love it. Because you can, it's not expensive, you can start with a few animals and you can fill it up and go really, yeah, massive as well, so. There's only that other Brazilian one, which unfortunately hasn't got enough food storage or water, one or the other, and it runs out. Right, water. Pigs. Of course, there is a massive difference in the, the uh, <laughs> how much the Nazi costs versus the the yams. So it's not really, it's not surprising that the Massey is better than the uh, HD set. Although, like any comparison, this is a massive monster that is very, very heavy. So there are situations when this is, yeah, what you would like. This would make an ideal fertilizer, but not, obviously, it's not got narrows. It's not got a narrow option, because it's really not meant to be that kind of, that kind of tractor, really. Sorry, excuse me. Oh. Right, straw, I think. We know how good Summer and Lily will be because I literally topped them up yesterday. They're, they'll be fine. And the pigs, likewise, food wise, they just wanted some more water. But we shall, we should check this. We're not going to go on my. In fact, we shall look this very minute. Yeah. Slurry straw, yeah, yeah, there is enough. They're not, not going down very much at all. Oh, right, I thought it was 320 tons TMR. How many have we actually got? Let's have a look. Yeah, you have to step out for that, don't you? You literally did the easiest way. I mean, you can add them up. I just, yeah. <laughs> I just like to see the number. So we should get out and have a look. I know there was a 370, I think, yesterday. So I, don't, I didn't look to see burst. That's why I, I thought I'd check. Because I haven't checked in two or three episodes. Three hundred and seventy-two, hundred percent. So there's definitely no burst. Let's have a look to see when the next. Are. Oh, next hundred. All oh, right, that this is the one that I was saying that's going to fill it, isn't it? Three seventy-two, four seventy-two. Oh no, not quite. No, no, it is. Yeah, that hundred and fifty will fill it. So we are top it's next month, August. We should have a full cow yard. How are we for adults versus? 75 and 72, so about 150 that are pubes. In fact, it is 150. There's three oddments, as well, I remember, that are always there. So, yeah, 150 that are pubescent, but quite a way through puberty, so that's not bad at all. Anyway, yes, let's pop up to the top. Yeah, in fact, I do map teleport on this all the time, don't I? Because it's just too big to do anything any other way. Let's go up and let's get these harvesters going, or do we? Yeah. Alright, let's get rid of these backs. We're going to swill out the big backs. 108 tonners. 
obviously I'm going to do it with the hose pipe, but we would really be doing the proper protocols to actually clean those beasts out for what we're doing now. If we do get any worms, I don't think we will, I think we'll be juggling um, harvesters truthfully. So if we do get any time, I will, oh no, I won't, no, no cross contamination. Well, I suppose we could do it with some of the 70 ton of backs. We could do that with tractors while we are using the, uh, the lorries to be luggers. Yeah, the one thing I always intended was to get um, one of those large bins and have at the side of this it never never did sort of pan out but we have got a lot of stuff and I think we're at the point where really we've got no space this is what I was talking about the paint settings oh actually it is mug So then let's go across the road. We'll start on the one straight ahead first. And then we should move to the top. So we can sneak across the top, I think. If I, I'm not sure if the headers can get through, we might need to head a trailer it. We just have to get these up the side first, and in some ways, I suppose, you should really get the harvesters underway because it's bigger. But I just like them to have this ready so that they can uh, unload. I suppose we have got those bins that I did for this very reason, but it is traditional. Actually touch that. Oh, it wasn't actually that far. Did that my nose just took going over that bit? Or was it just a bit of bad field? Right, that is as far as I am going. Definitely, you can sit there now. We'll grab the other one and we'll leave that just at this end. I'm not wandering far, not until we've got a headland caught. Not to be doing any damage. Silent, yeah. Just enjoying the uh, the routine. It's nice. Yeah, I'm just, I'm getting a bit better at this. I used to be a terror for uh, running around with the filthiest trap. I mean, rumbos. I each session you could actually do a lot of washing down all the time. But you can see sometimes I come to my tractors or lorries and they're actually clean already which means I can't do too bad a job. Alright so let's do we go yeah let's go up this sideway at the bottom of the field and go all Yeah those Estrellas still still no update with them so if we 
if we'd spent 400 grand on another farm and I needed the money, I'd resell them. Luckily, we can cope with a hit like that, and it still doesn't make us look bad. But yeah, it's, it's not good. Right. Let's get this going. Oh, that is a point. We're going to have to quickly pop onto each of these uh, harvesters because of the 1.1181 update. Ah, oh, then I think it's the other side. It is, let's be realistic. Yeah, because of the 181 update. Oh, I don't have to worry, do I? I've got these got the built-in uh, built header trailers. The drapers, fantastic. Right, yeah, we need to quickly check their settings. I apologise for dragging you through this, but just making sure that they've got these swath and that, yeah, th this this got changed, you see, had, when you switch switch them on and off, it resets all your settings. Straw swath, activate, smash in, that's one. I really do like these, they're so amazing. Best do that. It's not a very yeah. Is the one thing I will say. It's not a very big. I think we're probably best to do this here. I think we can just get through. I'm sure we've done this before. close to me. We have fused these before, haven't we? Oh, hang on, hang on, no. It is all you, Mr. Smith. He was aiming for the coupling, not the actual attacher. Still not square. Is that moving? It is. That's what <laughs> it's just throwing me out because every time you start, it's like shifting. So if I wait here long enough, that's going to attach. Uh, doesn't seem right. Hang on a minute, am I doing this right? Am I forgetting the rudiments? Do I have to unfold first? Maybe. It might be the wheels. Right, you should have done it the other way. That's that's why you don't do it that way. So why would that not attach? Well, that is really strange. Still, I have got to be honest, since the 181 update, there are lots of, lots of little, there's not a single session I come on to where things are as they should be, so it could well still be the 181 update. I still get... Yeah, it, it will go over. It's naughty, I know, but there's no way you can do that any other way, I think. Unless I ripped a bit more fence off across. This should go straight over there. Right. Twelve metre. Ah, uh, four. Okay, we need to destroy that then. And we need to recreate it. To be honest, this is probably not a bad idea anyway, because this field shape has changed slightly. So, it's probably not a bad idea. 
headlands. Now this is weird because it goes narrow at the bottom, so I should say two max. I reckon we can get away with three. I like three because of the depth. I think two sometimes you crash into things as lens. Smash it. That's fantastic. Save that. Save. Activate. 12 meters. Twice. And you are left one. I didn't do it, did I? I'm going to say. <laughs> Let's try that again. It should still be on record. Uh, okay, maybe not. I thought it did save that. If you, It may do. It might pull that up as the last thing. Yeah, it does. So, multiple tools. Let's try that again. Nah, I can only do yeah, can only do the two headlands, which is really four headlands, right? So that's oh, sorry about this. Yeah, this is worse than normal. Walking around and getting things wrong. Right. Save, activate. Gonna do that again. I realise I can see it's not. It didn't do it. So oh, that's better. So we've got everything done on that. Self unload the lock. Let's get number two sorted. Oh, those seats. Yeah. Ooh. Now this needs repairing. Ah, this is one we actually bought then from the sales. I think that's right. I think we one dropped in the sales and then I thought, oh, let's grab another draper. Oh, no, this is going to be a bit tight. I always did say this. This was a bit tight for some of our equipment. properly this time because you are not supposed to unfold it let's drag that over there a little to uh, give myself the best angle could have been because it was wandering but it, that shouldn't really make a difference it's a fairly flat surface really I think it was just a glitch I mean, at first it was my own fault. I really was not at the right sort of thing. It's in the yellow box that the black box needs to go. It is wandering though. Yeah, straight up. Ghost in the machine. Change his settings because they are going to be the same as the other one. Oh, 
know what that is. Oh, okay, well, that's bizarre. Right, go. Right, so I've got that all ready. Uh, is there anything? No, we did talk about the forage things, but they won't say get underway. They are going to be done quickly. Ah, that's true. I was on about doing using the 108 tunners and having that because we've got the snuffle stuck and the they always do that. It always looks bad on the drapers when they unfold them. Are they gonna get each other's way? Yeah, they are. I can't go anywhere now, so just, you know, go around me. I don't know. No, that's not what I wanted. Right, okay. Hopefully. <laughs> now that little it is done that's gonna start it is up there somewhere I remember right so then what shall we shall we I suppose we can at least the one thing we can do with the forage harvesters is get them all hooked up and get them onto the field now just check I know I said it was gonna be third it is now yeah I don't I, I must admit I'd route sooner use the forage harvesters even if it's slow going and we don't concentrate on them that much if I ever bought the second header. Right, let, let's do this the proper way. Forage harvester. Oh, have I not actually bought the forage harvester header? Ah, I bet I leased it a long time ago. No, there's definitely nothing there. Right, okay, in that case, we shall ask the shop to deliver. We shall. Two of them. Now this is going to cost us a bit because these things are not cheap. We're going to go big. Well, mind you, you can't with grass. I think the biggest ones are six meter. The the one I usually use. Or do we go for the class proper one? It's only five meters. Though. I think. I think the other ones only. F yeah, that's six point one. That's six point two. I'm thinking it's the one at the very end. I can't remember its name. It's a profit cut. That's it, the Zern. We'll go for two of those. Yeah. Fantastic all around as they are. Absolutely love these. create the course and see how I am. I'm going to try and pay attention to this as well because well we're below three mil again. Right we have got, I'm going to say they're 50 odd tons aren't they? I know that it's not the right kind of attachments I'm almost sure Neither is that. It's got to be. Right, you can still create the course. That is true. I think I'm right. I think we ought to wait for the 108, 108 tons if it's a possibility. I suppose we could go and test that as well. But let's just create the course. Why did that go off? Oh. 
create job. Yeah, it's got it. Two tools. Number of headlands. Now this. It's the headlands that causes the trouble though. We've got to have two or three. Bearing in mind there are really two would be four in a way. It would be to go four deep. So I think that is quite enough. But we shall see. The more headlands you do, the more... Although there's, there is a lot of... That's better. Because there's a lot of ups and downs. I'm hoping that that fixes the problems that we've had with this. With, with there being more ups and downs. Oh, what are you doing? You've done it already. So... Save, activate, 6.1 meter, 2. Please tell me that I did actually do that this time, though. Yes, I did. Right. We're not doing that, though. Right, we are going to grab the other one without its header, and we are going to go and see if we can attach to the 108 tonner. His pipe down, we don't, I'm not, not bothered about that. How are we doing? Oh, I don't come to the tank on the other one. Have I, have I got any? No, I haven't. I need a fluid. I might order some of that from the shop as well. Just check. Just not sure these are, these are the corpses. It's got to be. Yeah, I thought so. as well. Uh, I think you're going to need a dolly. No matter what. Let's grab the shuffle stuck. Oh wow. Very slow reverse. So we've got enough, not one normal dolly as well, I remember. Oh, I love it. And all the wires as well, as it should be. Fantastic tanks in those harvesters, that's what I love about them, it really is fantastic. Right, let's, let's try this out, let's grab the lorry, and we will uh, as assist, we should bring that up. It's not going to hurt anywhere to be dropped on that point, now the headlands have been caught. Although, I say that, that sometimes it causes trouble with the transport lines. You can't always tell. Leaving them on the headlands is what it, of course, may usually expect, but it can cause trouble if you're unfortunate enough to have transport lines where you leave the thing. And that's something that, yeah, knowledge of each of your courses. If this can be the yeah the next session. Yeah, I'm not ordering another two bags for this. This would be one of those things. That's why you've got more months I mean grass weights, it doesn't matter if it gets it just stays ready to be cut for a month. Flicker, no, it's not. Okay, no, 
okay, let, let's try this again. I always struggle with this, with it being such a long dolly. Sure, I'm not far off. Is it too high? It did flicker once that first time, and then I couldn't get it back. Let's try a little bit squarer. Never had any difficulty with this before, but as I say, this is the trouble. All of these updates seem to do weird things, so they always, it looks like everything needs it. Okay, that's me, it was me. Yeah, that proof of concept, that's fine. Although that doesn't prove, I know, let's do this properly. Let's go and borrow it for five minutes. There's another one down here as well anyway. The only trouble is, you know, with us having this is a massive field, and of course, but it does struggle when there's everything's right a long way away. Right, let's do that. Let's just see if we can get a bit of grass. I would say that's going to be fine, if I'm honest. Is going to work, but I just like to prove it to myself. Yeah, so I think that's it's not a bad thing to do, to be honest, because there's been many times where you, you prepare a session or even when you play in yourself and you think, oh, I'm just going to do that, and it doesn't work, so. Is that tap hovering? I think it is. I don't think that's quite on terra firma. Let's have a quick look. It looks like it's floating. It is. I thought so. Now why have you done me at such a weird angle? Yes, is the one thing I always say, turn rate is terrible on the game. Whether you're in person or... Yeah, I must have a look to see if there is a way to check that. All the trouble is, it, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to do it and then it's going to make other things un unusable, so... Want to be doing the bottom of the doing everything except around the tap. That might be actually the, the fact the tap itself. I think we're going to need to sell the tap. Let's level that. Yeah, we're going to buy you again. Alright, let's try that again. Buildings, I think it's in tools. Yeah, it's on, I'm sure it is. Container. 
always throws me out. I always think it should be in tools because you would have thought it. But then again, there's lots of other water things that aren't, so I suppose. Is that still hovering? It's hard to say. Right, let's run this back. So we have one of the harvesters that's definitely ready. Let's put my pipe down. Being as the head is only 6.1 metres, we will run this across. But yeah, so next session we will be doing the grass with these juggling this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into a time lapse. We are going to, because this is going to take a while, we are going to time lapse and I'm going to stick in the harvesters just so as, yeah, we can see this harvest of our I think mean, this is this, I think this is the biggest field. see this I'm going to hang on a second you usually do a scan of the fields before they start and then when they're at full they just check what they've done but they do also do that thing where you can see when they're full they also scan the fields because the game starts to sort of shake is the best I can put it so if I stay here they might see this And if there's something too far away, they just, yeah, do that thing where they sit on the field edge, which I think is what it's going to do. Or she. Can't see if it's Han or Padme. I think it's Padme. Yeah. She's waiting for me and blocking the other harvester. Right, okay then, well. Let's leave the fence alone. For this. No. I need to go tight, that's not going to pull in. No, wrong way, I need to pull left. So the only thing about the twin screw, I've always said this, it is very slow on the unload. It's got, a, but I've, it may be the fact that it's just got such a massive tank, if I'm honest. But uh, anyway, I promised a time lapse, and that is exactly what we're going to do. Now seems a good time because it, this will speed this process up. So I am going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
are doing. Oh boy, there are a lot of failures on course play. I've never seen it like this. The the old one that was not the finished version was. I've never known it to do all this leaving the course malarkey and stuff. It's yeah. I, I, I'm gonna um, do this in two two bits. Obviously, the month carries on of July, but this session has been a bit of a, a well, a massive one. It's well, it's been done over two two times because it is huge. So I'm going to run these to the uh, at bottom of this field and then next session we shall crack on and do the other field that is necessary. If you, did you pop? He did. Pop. Fantastic. Right, let's run these to the bottom of the field. And that is where I'm going to call this an end. I'm going to leave the baler bailing and I'll just tell them to start next time because that's going to take a while and I've had to do it in two courses because obviously it's two workers so yeah I'm on the, I, I thought I'd do a bit of left and a bit of right I shouldn't have done that it was a mistake I realized that a few minutes in as the harvester started to hit the bales and it stopped them but yeah I normally so it's a weird how sometimes you've not done something in a, a few months again and now you get a little bit rusty and then you need a bit of a reminder is it yeah that's right <laughs> keep it in the bales which is why in the end I chose to do it afterwards we trundle these uh, the balers should have bought another baler well another Heston baler I don't suppose it's still too late really to do that now it, it seems to be quite sensible um, do we need to unfold these or can we craftily sneak across I think we're going to need to do the, the trailers so I'll tell you what, I am going to uh, unfold that and grab this ready for next time. And we shall uh, do the same to this one. That is a long way away for some reason. <laughs> well, let's hook this up then, if we have got a bit of time. Know how on earth it could do. Uh, Again, follow me is the same. There's absolutely no rhyme or reason. It's it can work one session, and I don't know if it's the game because the game itself, as much as I say it's, it has improved um, in some ways. But I still don't think it's anywhere near where it should be. Oh yeah, things like that. All of a sudden, it's dropped underneath the ground. Very strange things. I, I never saw an FS19, so I don't know. Is it is it better or is it just? Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't like to say. I truly wouldn't. And I'm not trying to be. I'm just trying to say how I see it. Yeah, wow, that took you a long time, really. Yeah, it is definitely. Say there, uh, as I did say yesterday, yeah, last session. Well, this session really is. It's going to be in recording wise. Um, it is, yeah. Every single update, it, the same as modders having to refix mods every single time there's an update. I never known that for me. It may have been always the case, but I can't recall it ever being in FS19. It had people having to keep fixing mods all the time or re-release mods at nearly every single major update and I don't see that much of an improvement in the game you know to add a few harvesters or add a few pieces of equipment why do you have to rewrite the game I, I, if, I understand obviously they've got seasons an element of seasons a very very basic seasons as I well know myself um, I could understand if they were starting to bring in like the hay drying time again, like it was in FS19, but they aren't. It's, it's still a very basic form of season, so I just don't get what all the everything is about. Anyway, yes, this is not going to fix anything, and nor does it do any good really. But it is the state of play. I mean, that's that's not a that's not a lie or anything, right? Yeah, right. I'm going to leave it here. We're, we're going to shift on to the next field to field 35 where we are not uh, yeah we are only stone throw away from that so yes another field of oats we'll also yeah we've done the animals so this is going to be a, 
don't know whether to because um, as I say these days last as long as they last I don't know whether to do the forage harvesting or wait till next month mind you we're still going to have the same problem every single time which is yeah the, the how many trailers we've got unless we leased a couple more of the 108 tonners but I suppose we could use the 70 tonners yeah I suppose some flowers let's have a look let's have a quick look before we talk about things and see July what have we got planned so let me just remind myself we didn't plant any canola this year did we no we've got yeah sunflowers and yeah I know about sugar beet I'm trying to think what the name of that is the new one sorghum that's the one <laughs> so sorghum is next month as well so we've got sorghum yeah, only sorghum haven't we yes of course because the next ones are sugar beet and sunflowers are the same months so that's actually quite a way off so this is perfect if we push on till next month finish the two oat fields and we push on and then we've got the one sorghum field we can crack on with the sorghum field and grab the two 70 tonners or the two or three 70 tonners I believe let's have a look I know we've at least got two that we dropped in the sales very fortunate on that Yeah, we've got two 108s. Oh, where have I got one, one Trans 70? Ah, no we haven't. Oh, that's strange, I didn't realise they would put them in separate places. So we've got two of the Trans 70s, but we've also got the 47 tonner, the 40s, 45, sorry, my bad. Almost got it right. And the 37.5, so I think between them, I reckon on the sunflowers, that would actually be enough if we stick those around this field. Uh, next session I think we'll get this harvested so sorghum <laughs> just said some flowers a much later yeah if we get the uh, sorghum harvested next session push on for a month get the animals fed which I may for once do off camera or just show you the finished job rather than drag you along so that the session can be more about the harvesting yeah so we'll grab the sorghum I think it is dark green. Let's have a quick look. I'm sure it is. If it is, then it is tomorrow. If it's the light green before, no, that is. That's ready tomorrow. Then smash it. I mean, we can see that. That's what I meant about those jaggedy lines. I'm not so sure. I did miss lines. I reckon. That, I don't know. Those two end ones. That one there and that one there. I I think they look like missed ones. Those bit jaggedy bits. They're just ends. But yeah, I'm not so sure about these two. But nevertheless, yeah, that is a worry for next session. Yeah, so and I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. As always, remember this is our farm and I always like to hear from you stakeholders. So yes, by all means, leave me a comment. Yeah, I, I do love to hear from you. I truly look at that amazing bird flying above. It's amazing. Yeah, and I'm going to say goodbye for now.